might not have ever seen you before. Um, what's your name? How long have you been doing this? I'm Lucas Abella. I've been performing for probably over 30 years, but I've been playing the glass for the last 20.
Techniques I did just picked up and become more or less instinctual over time. I don't know, like, like um, people often That's talk about my hands and what they're doing, and I have no idea what they're doing because I think 
sometimes I think they're doing some kind of dampening thing, but it's something I've never really oh, yeah. thought about. Oh, just, from when I started playing to, to to recently, like um maybe in COVID, I'd never really never really rehearsed, so I I spent most my development on stage. So um every technique and every idea I I'd had in a shared moment with audiences, I'd never went home and practice ideas. I'd always just make them up on stage, and I'm always in such a weird headspace when I'm on stage. You can't really, you don't really think about the techniques as you're developing them, or and sometimes you can't find them. Like you think to a show, oh, that sound was really great, but you have no idea how you got it. Um, but yeah, those yeah those techniques just they're just there now. I guess like like anyone playing an instrument twenty years, you can't really put a finger on it. I suppose I don't. Know. Yeah, I always played process. barefoot even before I started playing glass. Um, from the first show I ever did, I just instinctively took my shoes off. I don't know why. I always do it. I always find my clothes heavy on me when I play. Like I can be with them all day, not remember they're on. But when I start to play. I need to take my shoes and jacket and all my clothes off. Not all of them, obviously. But yeah, um, I need to empty my pockets because my pockets feel heavy. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why. I just need to take as much off as possible.
that audiences are waiting for you to do something like that or to cut yourself? Um, there was a time when it started to get expected and I kind of stopped doing it, but I started doing it again because I kind of enjoy it. It's, a, it's not to hurt myself, it's just like a, it's a, it's a stamp on the end, you know, it's just like the finishing, the siding off, <laughs> tip of the hat kind of thing. So, I know I, I really hurt myself when I do it, like I can smash a plate glass over my head I don't know uh, over a hundred times and probably not the ever get a cut I know I've done it thousands of times and I have had the cut cut cuts from time to time and hurt myself but I'm, I'm, I was never the glasses instrument was never a intention as a, a as a thing to cut myself I was more symptomatic of what I was doing and especially early on in like saying the first 10 years of playing the glass, or maybe first six, I suppose, I was maybe in a strange headspace. I don't know, I got more, I went more over the top as I played and did some quite outlandish things in, in mental states that I can't really even comprehend now. Um, and I think the reputation I gained during those years brought a, a new audience to my shows that were expecting some kind of Gigi Allen kind of yeah. um, spectacle of self-mutilation and, and blood so I kind of kind of reverted back from that and um, I, I started kneeling and I started instead of getting, being ecstatic the show started getting more meditative I suppose and um, now I'm just trying to start to stand again that's the first time I've stood while playing for a long time I'm just trying to get back you know, I'm so used to kneeling and doing this kind of breath thing this meditative breath rhythm that um, I'm finding it hard to be on my feet I find it disorientating I think it's one of the things about tonight's set I was having trouble with this like having to concentrate on being upright yeah. <laughs> while playing because I usually 
close my eyes and I feel around the, the board and I fiddle with it and I've got my knee, I, my legs sometimes straddle the case, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I, I feel people are sometimes disappointed that I'm not standing up or they can't see me because I'm sometimes I'm on the floor and the crowd's around me so I'm, I'm trying to convince myself to stand again. But um, yeah, it was that, it was people bellowing blood, 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 blood. Um, and the audience has really disappointed me, I suppose. I don't know. Like, maybe it was to be expected, but it's not what I asked for, I suppose. Yeah.